This is a monumental decision today by the judge, and we're very grateful that the judge is applying the new law, and he's recognizing that this case, Mr. Humphrey's case, changed the state. As he's been in custody, he has a lot of people who've been rooting for him and supporting him, bringing by the news articles, sharing with him, you know, the stories that they've read, and you know, just letting him know that what he's done and the patience he's had has meant a lot to so many people who would have been incarcerated, but for him willing to work with us and take on this fight. For people across the state, judges are now required to consider non-monetary alternatives to incarceration. It's not simply a question of if you're accused of a crime, you sit in jail unless you're rich. That's how it's been for the last 20, 30, 40 years. And now, thanks to Mr. Humphrey and his successful litigation in this case, as Judge Conroy made clear today, judges across the state are required to consider less restrictive alternatives, regardless of wealth, regardless of the seriousness of the offense alleged. Watching Humphrey get free after two, three months since the Humphrey hearing, that was just an overwhelming feeling. And I think moving forward, you know, we got to make sure that loved ones, you got your, your loved one on the inside, make sure you're in the court. Community, make sure you're in the court and see our people come free. Mr. Humphrey is free. Mr. Humphrey is free.